of a grave in Rakhine State. The army says it is evidence of a massacre by Rohingya Muslim militants, but the army's claim can't be verified independently. However, Hindus, who make up less than 1% of the population in that state, accuse Rohingya of burning their homes and kidnapping women. Sanjoy Majunda reports now from the border of Bangladesh and Myanmar. This refugee camp in Sitwe, the capital of Myanmar's Rakhine State, is now home to these Hindus forced out of their homes after the recent wave of violence. They were allegedly attacked by a Rohingya Muslim militant group. Now the Burmese military says it has discovered the bodies of Hindus, believed to be part of a larger group, who were all killed by the militants. It's very difficult to independently verify what's happening inside Myanmar's Rakhine state. Access is tightly controlled. Journalists are not allowed inside. But here in Bangladesh, these are Hindu refugees living in their own camp away from the main Rohingya Muslim settlements because they say they feel safer here. And they have their own testimonies of the violence they left behind and how they were attacked. Niranjan Rudra has been living in this cramped shelter for the past month with his wife and son. His village lies just across the border in the district of Mongdao. On August the 25th, the family fled just hours after the village was surrounded and attacked. They were wearing black masks and robes. They had knives and bombs. We couldn't identify them, but they were speaking in a mix of Rohingya and Burmese dialects. Others were not so lucky. Most of the residents of another neighboring Hindu village were killed that day. Niranjan's uncle and cousins among them. While he's still unsure about the identity of the attackers, others are not. They first murdered Hindus in our surrounding villages and then turned on us. They were from the militant group. For years they lived in harmony with their Muslim neighbors, many of whom have now been killed or driven out after their villages were attacked and burned. But now their peaceful coexistence has been shattered, perhaps irrevocably, driven apart by hate, fueled by ethnic and religious violence. Sanjay Majumdar, BBC News at the Myanmar-Bangladesh border.